We're gonna take a group of community members from the Batemans Bay area up the Clyde River. We're gonna learn about the impacts of bushfires to aquatic environments and the general ecology of the estuary. We've got ecologists and RFS officers and you know local oyster farmers and Aboriginal representatives to get together and share what they've learned in their journey of recovery and have a discussion about resilience. That fire went through there so quickly that by the time we were down there with all our sprinklers and all the nonsense, you know, the fire had just gone. It's just gone. It had burnt everything. It was just insane. So after the bushfires had passed through, we got a lot of rain. And that rain washed silt and sediment and all sorts of stuff down into the into the river here. These baskets are in the water and they just got covered, you know. In, in, um, in ash. It doesn't kill the oysters, but it creates a hell of a lot of work for farmers to clean it all up and sort it all out. These fires swept through here. We found sites that we never knew of beforehand, so, um, which is a bonus in, in some regards. There's another, there's another story we can put to the books. We've actually got about a thousand hectares just up behind here that we manage and look after. Um, so we do a lot of our cultural burning techniques. Hard to say that any of this country along here is so pretty blunt, but I'm just being straightforward is that it's not really healthy country at the moment. It hasn't been for a long time. And now it's up to us and our opportunity now to look after it properly. We had a group of really interesting people from um, closer to the town in Batemans base. So they're understandably um, pretty nervous about bushfire and, and want to feel more in control. One of the things that I was talking to them about is another program that we run called the Bushfire Program. We talk about how to protect your property from fire, how to go in more prepared and also how to learn about um, local ecology on that peri-urban scale, so areas where you've got houses and suburbs on the edge of bushland. All along the banks of the Clyde. We had eucalypt forest there on the ridges that burnt at extreme high fire severity um, and then we had the fire actually coming down so hot and so fast that it burnt into the edges of the mangroves and in some cases burnt the mangroves themselves. This is the first time in the 18 years that I've been looking at mangroves that we've seen fire impacted mangroves and that just shows you how intense these bushfires were in this area. So what we're doing with Ocean Watch is looking at ways that we can protect those mangroves and help them recover. We're going in there planting some seedlings to give them a helping hand. Mangroves store five times more carbon than any other forest type and they trap it 50 times faster. Mangroves are climate change heroes. Whilst we've lost some habitat through fire and it's possible that those areas will never recover. We need to now ensure that the remaining mangroves are protected as much as possible so that they keep cleaning the water, trapping the carbon and protecting our shorelines into the future.